Okay, so here we go. It's November, and it's Monday, and we are diving head first into the holiday season. You gotta get it together, people. Get it together. Do not go into the end of this year full tilt boogie with reckless abandon because on January 1, you know what you're going to be doing. New Year's resolutions. This year, I promise. And then, you know... Just stop it. Stop the madness. Get it under control. A really good strategy to use during this time of the year is planning. Planning is your best friend this time of the year. If you are going to have a lot of social functions, you need to get your get your thoughts together. And if you know you're going to be eating, if you're one of those people that you're like, I'm not going to go to a party and diet, and that's fine. But also, you got to prepare up to that, you know. Whatever calories you eat, you get to keep those. You get to keep the consequences that come from those calories, okay? So it's fine if you want to indulge, you want to have some drinks. Please don't forget about alcoholic beverages having a lot of calories in them. Alcohol, I think, has seven grams per, seven calories per gram. I think, I think, some it might be a little bit more than that, but that adds up very, very quickly. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I drink, all of a sudden, I think I'm the most beautiful and sexy woman in the room, and calories don't count, and I can just eat a little bit of this, and I can eat a little bit of that, and I'm this Greek goddess, and the reality is, is that it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful and mindful of those calories. So what you can do is if you know you're going to be going to a party, don't starve yourself up to that point, but maybe cut back a little bit on your meals. You want to go for a lot of vegetables, lots of vegetables, lots of green vegetables, because these green vegetables are going to help nourish your liver. They're going to nourish your stomach. And I, don't, I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Your liver is responsible for over 600 metabolic functions metabolic functions. What does that mean? Your metabolism. Okay, so the health of your liver is directly impactful on your metabolism. So be mindful of that. Another thing I would like to share with you guys is a little experiment I did on myself yesterday. Um, it was a really busy weekend. We had we did trick-or-treat Friday night with the kids and then went to a Halloween party. We were not up all that late. Um, but it was later than typical. Um, and then I had, I got up Saturday morning and I taught Zumba at 10 and then I was, I photographed a wedding. Like I left directly from there and then went to the wedding and then came home and was working on editing pictures. This is typically how my, my days go. It's like work, work some more, work some more. And I love it all. However, it can be very exhausting, so I was tired on Sunday. I also had a newborn session on Sunday morning, so I was I was really fatigued, and I found myself Sunday, as I was editing some photos, wanting to just, like, snack, Th that hand-to-mouth, and just that kind of an undertone of hungry, not satisfied, like, I just need something, I need something, you know, you know, and so I thought to myself, because I do have done a lot of research on the importance of sleep and how that plays a role, particularly lack of sleep in the success of dieting, um, or not necessarily dieting, but overall health for healthy metabolism and um, sticking to plans and things like that, that notoriously, and well, not notoriously, Statistically across the board, if you have less sleep, you're more inclined to eat things you normally wouldn't eat. Your body will tell itself that it's hungry because it's trying to get energy. Um, same thing goes for when we're dehydrated. When we're dehydrated, our body is comprised mo you know, mostly of water. And so if it's dehydrated, your body is having to work much harder to keep those systems going. If you want to think about it like your car running hot, um, when it's running hot, it's going to it's going to use more gas. It's just going to, it's going to burn through stuff. I mean, your car is just going to, it's not going to operate efficiently when it's running hot. So same thing with our body. When our body is dehydrated, we, your body will, or, or tired, those are two ways that your body needs to operate efficiently and have 
energy. Well, if we can't, if we're not getting enough water and we're not getting sleep, the first thing that our body is going to do is symptomize hunger. It's going to make us think we're hungry when most of the time we're tired and we're thirsty. So if we can knock out those two things, usually the hunger will subside or the craving will subside. So what I, obviously you can't just like peace out and take a nap any day of the week. If you can, kudos to you. I'm so jealous. Um, I have a hard time with nap time. I'm not, I have to be really tired to lay down and take a nap. I just, that's just, I've always been that way. But, uh, and I don't have a problem with the water. Drink water all day long, every day, all day, every day. Um, But, the sleep thing, I thought yesterday as I was wanting to, you know, hand to mouth, I thought, you know what, why don't I just go lay down and try to take a nap and see what if what happens. And it was amazing. I woke up and that the hunger was gone. And it wasn't even a long nap. I think it was like a 30 minute nap or something like that. Lay down with the naked grump, the little three year old naked grumpy person in our house, which it, you got to check out his page, Life of a Naked Grump. He's not just always naked, but that's just what we call him. Had to clarify. But anyway, it's pretty cool. And there's even some stuff they've done with people if you're at work. um, If you can just kind of take a beat to even just kind of meditate at your desk for a minute, you'll see the benefits of that. So anyway, those are some little nuggets of wisdom for you. I hope everybody's doing great. Going into a brand new week. Let's get this going. Um, Yeah. It's amazing. One more week. Keeps on coming. Monday always shows up just like you should. So make good choices today. Drink your water. Have a little meditation. You know, all that jazz. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.